What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> Today we're joined here with a very special guest. I invited Alicia onto the channel and I asked you guys to send in not only the weird shit that you do, but like really shady thing that you've done in your life. So I have a paper chewing addiction. So it all started when I was a kid, probably because I was malnourished. I would chew on anything plastic. Remember those like squishy razors? Yes. I would chew on those. But when I was in Europe this last month, I started chewing it again. Wow. I cannot be the only one that's like weird like this. Mm -hmm. So I posted on my story and I was like, I chew paper. Mm -hmm. And I actually got so many people that were like, I chew paper too. So that inspired this video. Yes. And now we're here. You are not alone. If you're struggling with addiction. Give this video a thumbs up for us reading your anonymous weird, weird, weird things that you do. Let's get into Let's it. I'm so scared. I need a drink. Let's start off with a light one. I came home drunk at my parents' house and peed in the plants outside so I didn't wake them up with the toilet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> or just don't flush. You know what? Okay. Maybe the trickle. Maybe the bathroom was really close to it. Maybe, like, maybe there's only maybe, one maybe. bathroom. I would do the same thing. My ex and I had bought Disneyland passes together, but he had only bought them because I confessed to him I was no longer happy in our three year relationship. That way I could just stay with him. I stayed for a few months out of guilt, but once I gathered up the courage to leave, I left and asked for the pass back. That's like saying no to an engagement and being like, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep the I'll ring. Keep the like I'll take no, it off your hands. girl. <laughs> Some things in life are not worth it. Like that's like, like stabbing someone and then like turning around and like kicking it deeper. Like, oh, sorry, I forgot to. Ugh, gross, what the fuck? When I got mad at my sister, I used to wipe her toothbrush on the ground. <laughs> that's such a sister thing. Like, I've never done that with Ashley, but that's that's kind of funny. That's evil. I dated a 16 year old when I was 12 and I didn't tell my parents. Oh, that's fine. Like, Is it's it? not. Like, my parents would never let me do that. But imagine being a 16 year old who's dating a 12 year old. What if the, I mean. Like, the, the 12 year old. Dangerous territory. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> Weird. I mean, you're dating a junior in high school. Like, I think it's more the junior dating the freaking sixth grader. No, yeah, definitely the other like, way around. What? But like, my cousin told me he masturbated to my face. It's not okay. I mean, honestly, no, though. No, no, there is plenty of other ways to find okay. photos in this day and age, okay? Today is a different time, but when I was like 12, okay. there was no internet, there was no, well, there was internet. <laughs> like, I wasn't allowed on the internet. Yeah. So I didn't know that like your cousin was like bad. And I had a cousin that was like 14. In my head, I was like, I want to kiss him. I feel like that's more normal when you're like a little girl and you don't understand that type of yeah. stuff. You're like, yeah. meow, but like, don't, don't just don't. Don't, just don't. It's your cousin. Like, just don't. Just don't. I f***ed my teacher at our school's prom. My school rented a location which had a club type of space in the cellar and everyone young and the teachers would always go down there and drink together. He kept buying me drinks and whispering dirty stuff into my- Oh, I feel like I cannot read this. They f***ed in the bathroom. It was so fucking obvious. I'm still wondering how no one caught us. Why do I oh, think you're writing fan fiction? Not the details. <gasps> no, I can't read this. I don't feel comfortable reading this. Oh, she had just turned 18. This is a fan, no! this is a fan fan. I know, I'm that's like, this That's cap, is, that's cap, that's cap. <laughs> My ex wrote a song about me and sold it to Sony Records for 10 grand. It's the most savage thing I've ever heard. It's fully about burying me alive. Now I play it to every guy I date so he knows what he's getting himself into. <laughs> that's funny. My best friend had a toxic ass boyfriend who was a regular at my coffee shop. He heavily depended on his coffee every morning. So every morning when he came in, I made his coffee decaf. Shut the fuck up, that's hilarious. That's something I would do. I'm so protective over my friends with their boyfriends. And if he was toxic and he came in every day and made snarky like remarks to me, I would totally. That's some like real deep rooted evil. Cause if you're a coffee lover, you know. That's crossing the line. <laughs> Look, I need an update. Does Wait, he still go to coffee shop? Her. Listen to the video. Look, we're so invested. Okay. Please tell us more. I'm stuck masturbating with pens and pencils since I'm underage and can't order dildo. No! No! We've all been there though. We all <laughs> No, but not me using a bubble wand. Like you like know what the, I'm talking about. the curling iron one? <laughs> like, like the bubble. The moral of the story is you are not alone. <laughs> well shit. I can't say oh I'm my trying God. that. I once peed on a guy to fake an orgasm and he 1000% believed it. Oh my God. Let's have a moment for silence for all the men who think that their girl finished. Let's have a moment of silence for my last relationship. Oh, so a couple years ago, I had a herniated disc in my back that was so bad, it eventually made me lose feeling in my right leg and I couldn't walk for four months. The doctors and family were always asking why and what happened that could have caused it. And I never had the guts to tell them it was probably because my ex blew my back out the night before. Imagine how many times people are like, what happened? She's like, uh, oh no. Yeah, they must've been like, something bad must've happened. And she's like, no. Oh my gosh. I had sex during a phone interview. Interview. Oh, were you on, did you mute You yourself? must not have wanted that. Did you get the job? I need answers. I need more dialect. 
I want my history teacher to fuck me. I wanted that too. See, I didn't realize that that was wrong either. <laughs> we had this one history teacher who was really cute, but I didn't ever take his class, so. Damn. Yeah, but all the girls were like obsessed with him. My mom and dad have a sex tape and I found it. Oh. I'm so grateful I've never experienced that. I don't know what I, I would scream and I would have I would pass away. No, I Respectfully, no, I would pass away. Like, yeah, I'm glad that I never did that. I hooked up with my AP history teacher to get that extra credit because I was failing. Just get out of AP history, go into regular history. Now you know you can't do that. Gotta get those college credits. Sorry, I went to community college. <laughs> I was writing a guy, cowgirl style, and shit. Was she saying it was an accident or was it like? I think it was an accident. That's disgusting. Like, I just- Could you imagine? Like, I just have questions. Cause it's like, it just came out. Like, how could you not just like control that? I peed on my friend's carpet one time. Did you? This was like literally when I was in high school or something. I had to pee so bad. I was trying on clothes in a fitting room and like, I think it was like a JCPenney or something. Uh -huh. I had to pee and I knew that I could not make it if I like took off the clothes yeah. I was trying on, put on my clothes. I need to make a decision. And I peed in the floor of the JCPenney dressing room because it was like a fabric. Yeah little like 90s floor. I know, like the floor, I know. And no one heard it, no one made a sound. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we grew up in a similar area, so like I just have a visual representation of where you were. I was like, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. Like no one will ever know. But did you? When I used to work at a hotel, I would use the vacant rooms to fuck my ex. <laughs> That's crazy. Did the cleaning people clean it? And then I would fucked? assume so. Respectfully, if you fucked on the bed, oh, please in clean. between the cleanings, yeah. then what? I'm like, okay, like they said, hey, this room needs clean. Then the house cleaner would say, oh, we already did that. Like we don't need to all. And then she's like, no, but you need to. I don't know. You know what I mean? She'd probably be fucking on like the clean beds. I had a dream I had sex with a coworker. Now I'm obsessed and I want to mess up his <laughs> marriage. <laughs> that was my great dream. No. I just want to know what happens. You're like, no. I want to follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I made out with my step sibling. I guess a sibling. I'm surprised there's not more like that. I will never understand. I don't have any step siblings. Do you like remember that. the Disney show? Have you seen it? It's like Life of Derek. Yes! And in my head, I was like, there's some weird sexual tension. When you're weirdly rooting for like yeah. it, and then you're like, like wait, what? Kiss, yeah. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I used my brother's toothbrush as a vibrator. I've done that before, and it's not strong enough. Oh. It's just like, mm. it's like, okay. Like the noise is there, but like, where's the movement? Well, better than a pencil. Better than a pencil. Sorry, but I, can't, I can't let that go. It's so thin. <laughs> It's just, it. she just messaged us back. You guys are my favorite. So this is the bestie. <laughs> They're not together anymore. Oh my God. He was 10 years older than me. <gasps> he wanted to get married when I was like 19. Oh no. <gasps> he had trust issues. I couldn't go out with my girlfriend. Oh, like, that's no. not, that's it. So we made his coffee decaf. <laughs> Even if I wasn't there, I made sure that every person that was working knew to make his coffee decaf. <gasps> so anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for that story. That was great. Wow. There you have it, folks. It's the flags of like not letting them talk to someone else. Yeah. Even like a coworker, it's like you have to talk to It's them. like, what are you gonna do? Like, oh, my boyfriend says like, fuck off. So what have we learned today? Honestly, a lot about you. <laughs> If you think you're the weirdest person, there's someone crazier than you. There's too much cousin shit happening. <laughs> just, just blanket rule. I can't even laugh at that. If you or a loved one are struggling with anything related to your cousin, there will be resources in the description box. There are better people out there. Yeah. Like anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really weird. Can't lie. But so are we. Yes. Please comment if you have a story maybe you didn't get in on the DMs. Put it below, you know? Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Alicia. And subscribe to me. Comment Avelisha if you've made it this far and we're gonna know that you guys are the, the real one. Comment Avelisha holiday giveaway if you're even more of a real one. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Bye. La primera vez que te vi, supe que era la mujer para mí. Nunca tuve ni una duda, no. Y ahora vos tenés mi corazón Dale, nena, contame Lo que te gusta de mí Dale, nena, mostrame Lo que te hace feliz Por fin